Hello everyone, I am Adrienne Van Kieran with Tai Chi Healing Energies and welcome to what is our 15th socially distance or socially quarantined class together. So as always, we're going to be focused on being grounded, being soft and relaxed as we go through all of these movements and I'm going to take just a quick second because we're going to be focusing on the Dante Inn to review exactly what that is. Your Dante Inn, you have three of them, they are, according to traditional Chinese medicine, the storehouses for your chi, your body's personal energy. We are going to be working with that lower Dante Inn, which again, as a reminder, it's roughly two finger widths below the navel and about three inside. If you remember back to our earlier socially quarantined videos, I asked you to think of or imagine your Dantean as a swirling, twirling, glowing ball of energy in whatever your favorite color happens to be. So let's hold on to that image as we go throughout today's exercises. As always, we're going to start off by getting nice and grounded. So we feel our weight sinking down evenly through the feet, our head top is rising, our spine is nice and straight, we have our tailbone tucked underneath, and we're open and rounded, relaxed and soft through all the joints. Once we feel nice and grounded, we're going to allow the arms to float up in front of us. They're going to extend, then they come back and sink back down. Let's get that chi energy involved. So as the arms raise, we're going to pull that chi energy up the back and over the head. It fills the arms as they extend, bring that energy back, and return it to that Dante end. Good. We're going to do this a few more times, being mindful of the way we want that chi to flow. And if you can't feel your chi flowing, which realistically takes a lot of practice, we're going to visualize or imagine it. It's almost the exact same thing, and it's certainly the next best thing. So last time, keeping this nice, smooth, and relaxed. Then right away, we'll let the arms float up the center of the body, palms rotate overhead, and the arms float softly to the side. So as the arms raise, that chi spreads from the Dante end to fill the whole body, and as they fall, the chi returns to that Dante end. So you have this nice opening, chi fills the body, and a gentle closing back to that Dante in here. So again, good. Do this two more times, keeping it nice and relaxed. Very nice. One last time. We're going to use the momentum of the hands coming down to allow that to swing us into the arms coming out, and then we let them come down the center of the body. So the chi is doing the same thing here as the arms raise, that chi spreads to fill the whole body, and then we return that chi to the dantean as the arms come down the center of the chest. So a few more times, remembering to keep things nice, relaxed, and as soft as possible. Do this one last time. Very nice. From here, to keep the body warmed up, we're going to let the hands come up the center, palms or fingers interlace, then we're going to drop the weight into the left, bend to follow, then over to the right, and relax. And do this a few more times. So again, letting the hands come up the center of the body, fingers laced together, over to the left, over to the right, and relax. Very nice. Two more of those. And one last one. And then returning to center. Very nice. From here, 
The next exercise we're going to do is going to be really begin to unify the body together. So listen to your body when you do this. For this one, we sweep the arms out to the sides, shift our weight over to the left, turn to the right, let the arms come down, and then we're pulled back to center. Same thing, opposite side. So again, we're going to let the arms come out. This time we shift our weight to the right, turn towards the left, let the arms fall, and listen to be pulled back around. So repeating this exercise, arms up, shift the weight left, turn to the right, and allow your body to be pulled back to center. Again, this time on the opposite side. Very nice. We'll do that two more times on each side, keeping it nice, relaxed, slow, and looking to unify the whole body together. Good. So one last time each side. Very nice. The next thing we are going to do is going to be our breathing sequence. Typically the way we we'll do this is we'll do one set of the breathing with me describing things and then we'll immediately follow that with a second set. We're going to change things up a little bit today because I'd like to end with a breathing segment so that we're nice and relaxed at the end. So we're going to do this uh, breathing sequence one time which means that you need to be a little bit on point with it. Uh, do remember, in every case, I am going to be mirroring you. The best thing to keep in mind is that when I say hang, we're going to gently pull the stomach in. At ha, we let it relax back out as we exhale. So keep things nice and relaxed. Make sure you feel nice and grounded here in horse riding stance before we start. And then Hang, we inhale, pull the stomach in, and ha. Hang, ha. Hang, ha. Oh. Uh. 
this video. It was one of the first times you've gone through the breathing without me describing it for the first time. I'm interested to see if this is starting to become familiar to you. If it's not and you'd like more practice with the breathing, because we can never do too much breathing, right? There is a video of me doing the breathing sequence on my website and on YouTube, so you are more than welcome to pull it up and breathe with me anytime you like. As I said, we are going to repeat that towards the end of this lesson. If you were able to attend lesson 14, we really focused on that Fa Jen, which is that gathering and releasing of energy concentrated on the Dante N. So we are going to review the two types of Fa Jen that we did in session 14, and then we're going to add a new one to that. And as always, you are more than welcome to ask me questions, send me a video of yourself going, am I doing this correctly? I will answer and I will probably even send you one back if you need corrections made or anything like that. So as always, don't hesitate to reach out to me with questions. So gentle review, what we're going to do is be nice and grounded here in horse riding stance. I'm going to ask that you all shift your weight over to your right Step directly forward with that left foot, pick up the back toe and adjust it to a 45 degree angle. Check in with the body to make sure that you feel stable in bow and arrow stance. Do you have that nice gap between your feet? When you shift your weight forward, and I'm going to turn to the side for a moment, we're checking to make sure that when we shift our weight forward, right now as soon as I shift the weight forward, my waist drops down. That tells me I have too wide of a stance and I know when I shift my weight forward here, my waist stays at an even level. It's also important to make sure that tailbone is tucked underneath so the spine is nice and straight. Once we've checked in with the body and made sure we are complying with all of these principles, what we're going to do is from the back foot, shift the weight forward, the arms come open like this, we gather energy, we shift the weight back, the arms follow along, they twine inwards. So here, we twine outwards and open. The pinkies are almost up. As we shift the weight back, it's almost like rowing a boat. So it's forward, open, back, and close. So here we are gathering this energy. Here we are releasing it. So again, this is a gather of energy, and this is the release. That correlates with open from the Dante in, close back to it. So open and close. Open and close. Good. Do a few more of these and remembering as with all things, the more we practice, the more we understand the internal mechanics of the motion and the easier it becomes. So we'll just do a couple more of these. So again, that nice opening and closing. One last one. Very nice. I'm going to ask you remain in this stance. At this point, I want you to let your arms float up in front of you. With your weight on the back foot, we're doing a different type of Fa Jin now. We're going to shift the weight forward, we gather that energy, and then we release it. It's a gentle release here. Again, we gather that energy, and then we release it. I'm going to turn to the side to give you another view. So here, I'm gathering, and then releasing. Again, gather that energy, and release it. And you know that correlates to the Dante and opening here and closing there. So again, this nice open and close. Again, open, close. It sometimes takes a little while to really feel comfortable both with this motion internally and externally. It can feel awkward at first, but as we've said, that only means we need more practice. 
So let's do just a few more of these. Really focusing on the Dantean opening here and closing here. And one last one. And then go ahead, step back. If you need to shake it out, feel free to do so. Then once you feel okay again, let's go ahead, get ourselves grounded into horse riding stance. Now we're going to do the same thing, but on the opposite side. So this time we will shift our weight over to the uh, left, step forward with that right foot, make sure the back foot's at a 45 degree angle, take just a moment here, check in with your body. Is your tailbone tucked? Is your head top rising? Do you feel secure in your stance? Once the answer to all of those is yes, from the back foot, We'll shift the weight forward, the arms will twine outwards, we'll gather that energy, we'll shift the weight back and release it. So here, there's that gather and release. Gather, release. Of course, that correlates to an opening and a closing of the Dantian. So look for this nice open and close. So again, you open here and close here. So open, close. Very nice. If this motion is beginning to become familiar to you and it feels good, this exercise feels comfortable to you, then your next progression is going to be to try to soften through the arms. And that's because chances are when we're learning the choreography, we're using muscles, we're probably a little tense and stiff. Once we know the motion, we want to let that stiffness go and really soften. So we'll do just a few more like this. Again, that nice open and close, this nice gather, release, and one last one. Now, keeping to the stance, allow the arms to float up in front, the weight's on the back foot. From that back foot, we go forward, we gather, and then we release. So again, arms are in front, go forward, arms float to the side, and then release. Turning to the side for just a second to give you another view. Again, this gather and release. And again, gather, release. And of course, that's correlating with this opening and closing. So look for that. And as I said earlier, if you're not feeling that opening and closing from the Dantean, perfectly normal, comes with a lot of practice, so we'll visualize it until we do feel it. So let's do just maybe two more of these on this side. So one last one, this nice open, and then close. Then go ahead, step back. If you need to step it out or dance it out for a second, go ahead and do so. Uh, we're actually going to do another type of Fajin that you all have seen before uh, called drop arms. So this is going to give us a nice break from being in bow and arrow stance. What we're going to consciously do, make sure we feel nice and grounded, invite the earth's energy into your legs. Let that energy curl up the legs and it's going to deposit the earth's chi into your Dantian. Then we're going to ask that that energy go ahead, overfill the Dante in. It's going to fill the arms, and then we're going to drop them down. So then again, those arms fill with chi, we drop them down. This is a relatively fast exercise, at least in comparison to the other ones. We do need to make sure that the tailbone stays tucked underneath, the head top is rising, and we're not using muscle. We're just letting the arms drop. And that's after, of course, they have filled with chi. This is another Fa Jin that correlates with the open and close. So open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Good. 
do one last one and come to a gentle stop with those. I don't ever want you to drop your arms down and then suddenly arrest that motion. Anytime your body is in motion, if it wants to stay in motion, allow it to take its time slowing down. The next thing I'm going to show you all is one of my favorite forms of Ba Jen. Um, it's a little bit faster, um, at least the gathering part is, and it has more of a sudden release. So for demonstration, um, and I will ask that you watch this carefully before you try to uh, do it yourself. So I'm going to step forward with my right foot and I'm going to come forward, shift my weight forward. I gather that energy. I'm going to do it again. So again, I gather a third time and then I'm going to release that energy like that. So we are gathering three times and then a sudden release. This release is done with the backs of the hands. It's almost if you imagine you were Wolverine or something like that, you're showing your claws to somebody. So that's kind of the sensation you want to get. I will say though that I don't want you throwing your arms out. It's a very gentle out. So again, to demonstrate, we're gonna gather, 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 and then release like that. So now it's time for you to get involved. So we're nice and grounded here in horse riding stance. We shift our weight over to the right, step forward with that left foot, make sure the back foot's at a 45 degree angle, and that we're comfortable here in horse riding stance. From the back foot, the arms come forward, we gather, and then again, gather, one last gather, and then release like that. So again, you gather, 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 and then release. What the Dantean is doing is slowly opening, closing, slowly opening, closed, slowly opening, closed, and then it open, excuse me, it opens as the arms come and then closed immediately like that. So again, open and closed, open, closed, open, closed, open, closed. I'm gonna turn to the side. Good, so again, you're gathering that energy here, gathering it here, gather and release. If this motion is not uh, feeling right to you, it's perfectly normal. You've never done this before. Give it time and let your body express itself how it needs to. So again with this, we don't want to overthink it. Just use whatever visualization technique works for you. I often imagine that as my arms come forward, I'm gathering something to me. Same thing here, I'm gathering it to me. I'm gathering it again, and then that release. So let's do one more of these on this side. Very nice. Go ahead, step back. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. As with all things, expect that this exercise is going to feel easier and more natural on one side than the other. So we need to figure out which side that is. This time we will shift our weight over to the left, step forward with that right foot, back foot's at the 45 degree angle, and we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna have you all get involved right off the bat. So check in with your stance, make sure you're ready. Then from the back foot, we'll shift the weight forward. We will gather, come back, gather, gather, and release. Good. So again, come forward together, gather, gather, and release that energy. I'm going to turn to the side to give you a slightly different view. So again, we are gathering, gather, gather, and release. And that correlates with the Dante ends opening and closing.
So then again, that gather, and then that release. Good. So a couple more times. Do this one last time. And release. Good. Then go ahead, step back. If your arms hurt or your shoulders are sore, I'm going to suggest we rub those hands together to accumulate our healing, soothing chi energy into them. Take the hands to the shoulders and allow that chi energy to I'm going to say do its thing and to work. You can also rub the shoulders out. Remember, anytime something hurts in Tai Chi, we're going to probably use self-massage to help move that Chi around. That's a topic for another session, and I promise I will get to it soon. So hopefully those Fa Jins, um, once you begin to practice with them and learn the choreography, can become a little bit more familiar to you. Again, with all things, they're going to feel more natural on one side than they do on the other. Unfortunately, that means whichever side they don't feel as good on, we need to practice and do a few more on that side. And again, if you have questions, comments, concerns, am I doing this right, any of that, don't hesitate to reach out to me. The last thing we are going to do in this segment is to go ahead and do our breathing again. That's just because we need, I would like to end today's segment nice, grounded, and relaxed. And hopefully you will all join me in that. So I'll give you just a moment to make sure you feel nice and grounded here again before we do the breathing. And once we're all ready, hang, ha, hang, ha, Ah. 
I will say thank you all very much for joining me today. Thank you for your hard work and practice. As always, don't hesitate to reach out if you need any further help. Thank you so much.